Alright, hello everybody and welcome to something new to my channel, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It is a mobile game that I play the crap out of, but I haven't uploaded it yet because I didn't really know if I wanted to, but um, I'm just testing it out. I made this layout myself. On the right is the new pack that we're about to open. And um, on the left I would probably put the deck that I'm using, like a screenshot of the deck that I'm using. Um, and then on the right, once we're not opening packs anymore, I don't know what I would do with the right side. So if you have any ideas for like the layout, it's like the first thing I've ever done. And it's really ugly, I can tell. But um, I just don't know what else to like do. But yeah, so basically, I'm just going to ease my way into uploading Duel Links by opening these new this new pack that came out, Crimson Kingdom. Um, I have... 1660 gems saved up including the 500 they gave us so that's about 33 packs if I'm not wrong but um yeah I'm gonna talk about the pack for a second I haven't even clicked into it but I know a couple of the cards that are in it um so a lot of zombies a lot of zombies vampire lord knight of the red lotus gozaku bro hunter reinforced human cyborg Red Eyes, Blazing Apache, the Fusion Guy, Dark Paladin, and Soul Resurrection, and Buster Blade of Destruction Sword, and Demi and the Master Magician. Okay, I'm starting to get into SRs, and I'm not paying attention. But yeah, so those are the URs up to the trap card. So nine monsters and one trap card for the URs. And, um. Yeah, so. Blazing Apache, 1850, zero defense. He's like the new. Dunamis. Sorry about my dogs barking, um, but he's like the new Dunamis. I feel like they're just going to keep going up every pack. You know, like maybe next pack they'll have Luster Dragon number one. He's a 1900 dragon. But, um, yeah, so like the, they just keep going up with n vanilla beaters. Um, but there's a little bit of thunder and. There's that little thunder combo, they got the bro hunters, and then the little thunder guys, these guys, so um, I don't know what we're going to see coming out of this pack. Warrior returning alive is pretty good, um, inspiration is like a reinforcement, but again 700, so it's like in between reinforcements and um, rising energy, but you don't have to ditch one, so yeah that's pretty good. Couple of speed bird. When this card is destroyed by that it's a grave aging target. Two level two monsters in your area, especially some, but their effects are negated. So he could probably go in like a shine ball deck. That would actually be broken. Um, but yes, yeah, so another 17, 1700 dinosaurs is actually really good for Rex. That's a 2000 with them. Um, what this called out. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just talk about the cards when I get them then, um, other than the ones that I already talked about, so. Oh, I'll take a little time. Right future, target two of your banished psychic type monsters, return both those targets to the graveyard and draw one card. Barochi, the freighting card. That card is ass. The A force is all warrior type monsters you control, gain 200 attack for each warrior spell type monster you control. So it's kind of like Solidarity, but only 200. Also, I guess I'll read them for the first time, if I assume. A player controlling this monster loses 300 life points during each of her standby phases when this card is faced up on the field. The controller of this card is shifted to your opponent by paying 500 life points at your own end phase. So, like, you can pay 500 to start hurting your opponent, but it also gives them a tribute, so. So here is the first 1700 spellcaster in a pack, I think? Because the only one we had before was Neo the Magic Swordsman. And each time this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, place one spell counter on it. This card gains 200 attack for each spell counter on it. So that's actually really good. Cards of the Redstone, more Red Eye support. Send one level 7 Red Eyes monster from your hand to the graveyard. Draw two cards, then you can send one level 7 Red Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can only activate one card of Redstone per turn. So that's basically get rid of. Red Eyes, draw two cards, and then Red Eyes Spirit. Oh my god, I clicked away from that one, my bad. I'll do it if I see it again. Spell Vanishing, discard two cards from your hand, negate the activation of a spell card, and destroy it. Also, look at your opponent's hand and deck, If and if you find any spell cards of the same name, 
as destroyed as the destroyed spell card. Send them to the graveyard. So this is like Noble Man of Extermination mixed with Magic Jammer. I don't know if it, it's it's weird. You do get to see your opponent's whole deck and their um hand. So I mean, that's not that's not too bad, I guess. Trigon. Oh my God, that writing is so small. I can't read that. Um, you can target one Buster Blade or you control it. Equip them. Equip this monster from your hand or side of the field to that target. When this card is equipped to a monster, monsters in your opponent graveyard cannot activate their effects. You can send this equipped card to the graveyard, then target one Destruction Sword monster in your graveyard. Except Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. Add it to your hand. So this is like a Union monster, but it's not actually a Union because it can only go to Buster Blade, which is kind of weird. Bonfire Colossus, Big Boy, Fire Beast Warrior. If you control a fire monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, target two fire monsters you control, destroy those targets. Oh, okay. So, it's basically, it's like, nor it's like normal summoning it with attributes, but it's a special summon. So, like, if you normal summon your second fire monster, then you can then special summon this. So, I mean, it's kind of like a built-in double summon, but, like, not good. Okay, so this is the one I skipped the first time. You can only use one exchange of night and day per turn, and once, and only once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Send one light warrior monster from your hand to the graveyard, then add one dark type more warrior monster from your deck to your hand with the same level, and then it's the opposite. So basically, you can ditch one light to add a dark warrior, which is, uh, I don't know. Remove two spell counters from your side of the field, then target one Dark Magician or Buster Blader in your graveyard special summon that target. So that's pretty good, I think, if there's enough if there's enough spell counter support in this. I've only seen that one um, spellcaster, but um, if there's more spell counters, then that's actually pretty good. Uh, Psychic Emperor, when this card is normal summon or special summon, gain 500 life points for each Psychic type monster in your graveyard. And this isn't bad, a 6 star 2400 Psychic who's giving you life points back when usually psychics take away life points so that's that's not too bad I guess um, counter cleaner pay 500 life points remove all counters from the field okay so this is like anti counter meta but I wonder how far the counter meta is gonna actually get if it actually is gonna be viable once per turn you can normal summon one level 4 light thunder monster in your hand except pa, pa 100 as an additional so that's one of the that's half of the, the little cute thunder guys that can normal summon each other. Um, add one Buster Blade from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Cobra Man Suzuki or Sakuzi. You can flip this card into face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. When this card is flipped face up, look at all set spell or trap cards on your side of the field and return them to your original position. So it's like another flip control, but I don't think it's as good because Locust can actually destroy it. But maybe you can run one of these in like the, the Guardian flip control, um, clowns and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure. Field Commander Raz. When this card is normal summoned or special summoned, choose one level 4 lower warrior monster from your deck except Field Commander Raz and place it to the top of your deck. Okay, so it's like a, a, a nerfed searcher. It just adds it to the top of your deck, not your hand. Okay, it cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned by banishing one vampire lord you control, and that could be special summoned any other way. Once per turn, you can start one zombie time monster to the graveyard, and target one mon zombie monster in your graveyard with a less level than the d discarded card and special summon it. So that is big boy zombie mon, which is only a rare, so that's kind of weird. Um, I think you'd at least be like an SR or something, but... Cabazillus, the 1700 dinosaur for Rex, which is pretty good. Each time a spellcaster type monster on the field is destroyed, place one spell counter on this card, Max Void. Send this card and one face of spellcaster monster you control to the graveyard. Draw one card for each. Okay, so it's kind of like a Wonder Wand mixed with. But you can draw more and it's not an equipped spell. I don't know. It's kind of weird. This channel, once per turn, you can target one face of spell card on the field. Remove one spell counter from anywhere on the field. And if you do, return that target to the hand. Okay. Okay, so you can pop a, a spell counter and then re return a, a spell, but I don't know if that's. Fuck, I skipped that. Um, when this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, place it on either the top or bottom of the deck. You can only use this once per turn. Okay. 
That's not that good. Oh, our first SR, the warrior returning alive. Target one warrior type monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Nice. So out of the first ten though, we only get one SR, which is kind of boo-boo. But, um, let's keep going. One Karibo, nothing. Delta Try. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, select and activate one of these effects. Select one appropriate unit monster in your graveyard and equip it to this card. Select one face-up light machine monster you control and return it to the deck, then draw one card. Okay, it's like really bad British space soldier fighter, whatever it's called. Give and take. Special summon one monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in defense position and increase the level of one monster you control by the level of the special summon monster until the end phase. Um, maybe it'll work with like beat down, but I don't know. That doesn't seem too good. Um, ritual ceiling. Destroy one face up ritual monster on the field. Okay, so that's like anti fucking relinquish. That's okay. We got a bam from Jolie. Let's see if we get anything in this pack. Elephant statue of disaster. When this card is sent from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. That's half their health. Dude, that's not bad. If somehow there's a deck that could work with that, that'd be pretty cool. Assault Spirits. After activation, treat this card as an equipped card and equip two monsters you control. Once per turn during the... During the... I lost it. During the equip monster's attack, you can send one monster with 1,000 less attack to your hand from your hand to the graveyard during the attack, and it, get, it gains the attack. So it's basically like... How do I explain this? It's like Elemental Hero Terraforma, but like, it's an equip spell, and it has to be from your hand, not the field. I can't really think of any other way to put that. But we got our first UR Bro Hunter. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one level 4 Light Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand, except Bro Hunter. Okay, it's a 4 star with 900 attack and 400 defense. I don't know if I'm missing a missing something here, but I feel like Thunder is kind of ass. Huh. Miracle Restoring, I already saw that. Sasuke Samurai 2. Once per turn during your main phase, you can pay 800 life points. If you do this, until the end phase, spell and trap cards cannot be activated. Actually, that's pretty good. But the fact that it has 200 attack and 300 defense makes it pretty bad. But the effect is really powerful. Cards of the Redstone, we already saw that. Triple Karibo, Ancient Hieroglyphs, Joey Bam, Give and Take, we already saw that. Trigon, we already saw that. Soul Resurrection, another UR. Activate this card by targeting one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster... Okay, so it's Call of the Haunted for normal monsters. That's not bad. That really isn't bad. Chakra... Ch Chaka Archer. 5 star, 1200, 1800. I mean, 6 star, 1200, 1800. Ugh. Once per turn, you can target one spell trap card on the field, destroy it. Okay, so its effect is good. But other than that, it's pretty fast. Acid down for all earth monsters lose 500 attack and 400 defense. Eh. Dikochi, the battle chance locomotive. Flip, draw one card, then draw one additional card for each face of Bochi. Bokochi the fright, freighting card you control. So that's that little guy that has 500 attack, 500 defense. Um, oh. You know what's not bad? If you, like, set this guy, and then you protect him for a turn, and then you summon the little, the little freight car, and you use machine duplication, because that's in the game, you would draw three cards, and then maybe, like, a double summon? And you get like a big boy out? You know, that might be a pretty fun deck, to be honest. But, um, I don't know. We'll find out. Trigon Black Tyranno. If the only card in your opponent... If the only cards your opponent controls are your defense position monsters, this card can attack your opponents directly. So it's basically like a big boy... What is that card? The Shadow Grave thing that has 1400 attack that Weevils run? I don't know. But it's like a big boy version of that. Another disenchanter. There's the little Bokachi. Armor XC. This card cannot attack the same turn. Oh wait, 4 star and 2400 attack. 
Okay, this card cannot attack in the same turn. It is normal summon, flip, summon, special summon during each of your and your opponent's standby phases. Remove one spell counter on the field if you do not destroy this card. Okay, so that's two spell counters per turn because you have to do it during your opponent and yours. And it has to at least be a turn on the field. So I don't know how high spell counters can really get, but it, that's a pretty expensive card. Blast Magician. Okay, I know this card. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter, or and then remove any spell counters. Target one phase of monster on the field with e attack equal to or less than, and destroy it. Okay. So if you do three, you can pop anything below 2,100 attack, which is actually pretty good. Not too bad. Triple Karibo, Blue Joey, and it's a it's a um spell. So let's see. If I got anything, Spellcaster, Magical Plant, place one spell counter on each face-up card on the field that you can place a spell counter. Okay, so that's pretty good. Magical Plant, my good dude. Give and take. And Feast of the Wild level 5. Special summon up to two level 5 warrior type monsters from your hand or graveyard, but their effects are negated. Also, for the rest of the turn, they cannot attack. So this is like Obedience Schooled from the last pack. But they have to be in your hand. And they have to be warrior types. But they can't... But they stay on the field. Okay, so that's pretty good, actually. They stay on the field. Public organization. Look at the top three cards of your deck, then return them in any order. Okay. Magnet Force. This turn, all monsters on the field whose original types are machine or rock are unaffected by your opponent's monster's effect. Okay, so that's that could maybe run one of those in a magnet deck. Psychic Emperor. Megaton Magical Cannon. Remove 10 spell counters on your side of the field. Destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field. Ooh. I wonder if that'll ever come into play. That, 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 that sounds like a fun deck to me too. Just run that. Alright, so we're down to 13 packs and I... Not too happy with what I've got, but I get triple Kariba winking nothing. Okay, counter cleaner. Yeah. Now we're getting a lot of repeats too. That guy, Psychic Rejuvenation, new card. Gain 1,000 life points for each face up psychic monster you control. So Psychic is getting more ways to recover themselves, which actually makes them more viable because of how much life points you have to pay to actually use them. And a glossy, the A forces. Kariba, nothing. Assault Spirits. Public organization. Fear from the Dark. Zombie 1700. When this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, special summon this card. So, I don't really know what can trigger that from the deck in this game, but from the hand, maybe it could get discarded. Um, so, I mean, it's a 1700 zombie, though, so that's pretty dang good. Mushroom Man number two. Elephant Statue of Blessing. When this card is sent from your hand to your graveyard, by an opponent's card effect, you gain 2,000 life points. So this is like the opposite of that other elephant, which is kind of cool how there's two of them. Psy Station, when a psychic type monster is normal summon, you can pay 500 life points, increase its attack and level by three, attack by 300 and level by one. This remains even if the card leaves the field. Okay, so you can just boost up psychic, which is actually pretty cool. I like that card a lot. Flameville Dragnov, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. You can remove from play this card from your graveyard, along with one face of fire monster you control, to add one Flameville Dragnov from your deck to your hand, 1100 to 200. So this is like Dragon Burn, but I'm, it's not good because you have to... If you just removed it from play and get another one, that'd be really good because it would be deck thinning. But the fact that you have to tribute another fire monster it just doesn't work that well. Gift exchange. Both players banish one card from their decks face down. And if they do, during the end phase of this turn, both players add to their hands the card their opponent banished by this effect. Huh. So, like, you can choose to give your opponent a card, which would act. <laughs> Dude, that, that would be a pretty fun deck, too. More, more Malith. You can tribute one face of Earth monster to destroy all face up monsters with defense equal to or less than the attack of the tributed card. Okay. So like, if you had like a Valkyrion out, you could just blow up the whole field. 
which is uh, it, it could have a place somewhere. Bokachi, Teuton Mask, new card. When a spell trap card is activated, that targets exactly one zombie type monster on the field, and if the cards negate the activation, if you do, destroy it. So it's Ryoku Field for zombies, which is pretty cool. Silver Sentinel. You can set this card from your hand to your spell or trap card zone as a spell card. So it's like Toy Magician. During the end phase of this turn, this set card is in your spell or trap card zone, was destroyed by an opponent's card effect, and sent to the graveyard. Target one card your opponent controls, special summon this card from the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that target. Okay, so it's like Wild Tornado, but a monster, and he gets to come back. That's that's pretty good. That 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 could re be really good against Harpies. That's actually anti Harpy, dude. I I like that card a lot because it's better than Wild Tornado and Security Orb for countering because it's a monster. But it might not be better than. I mean, they all each have their own things, right? Wild Tornado can destroy face ups if it just wants to be used as, as a trap card. Security Orb can just negate an attack if it wants to be used as a trap card. And that guy can just be summoned if he wants to be used as a monster card. So they all have their own place, but they all counter Harpies pretty well. Shining Silver Force. Activate only when your opponent activates a trap card that inflicts damage. Negate the activation of that card and destroy it. And all face up spell and trap cards continuous. Wait, no. All face up spell and trap cards your opponent controls. So that's anti-burn. It, it pops burning lands. And it blocks attack and receive, but I don't think it'll be used very well. Give and take. Spiritual Light Art Hijiri. Tribute one light monster to target one banished monster. You can your opponent can reveal one trap card from their hand to negate this effect. Otherwise special summon that monster. Okay. Exhausting spell, remove all spell counters on both sides of the field. So this is like better vacuum cleaner. Jar of Greed, whatever that card is that has Jar of Greed sucking up Spell Counter Remover, I think is literally the name of it, I don't know. Paul Hunger, Buster Blade, Glossy Buster Blader, hey boy. This card gains 500 attack for each Dragon type monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. Buster Blader is just such a badass card, but it's not that good in this game, I don't think. Exchange of Night and Day, we've seen that. Bright Future, we've seen that. Sasuke Samurai, we've seen that. Triple Karibo, nothing else though. Ancient Crimson Ape, new card at least. Um, 7 star, 2600 beast. When a monster you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, gain 1000 life points. You know what? This actually isn't that bad in a baboon deck. Because he's he's giving you the 1000 life points to then pay. It's like, hey, baboon, come back when you just got destroyed. I mean, when a beast just got destroyed, here's 1000 life points to get a baboon on the field. So, that's actually... I think that people could run one of those in a baboon deck. But there's 30 packs down and, and nothing much to really write home about. So we have our, our last three packs here. I'm going to open them one by one. One Karibo. Bloodsucker. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of your opponent's grave deck to the graveyard. Okay. Ritual Buster. Activate only when a ritual monster is ritual summoned. Your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards or use their effects until your next standby phase. Huh. So that basically shuts them down for the rest of their turn. Which means it leaves Relinquish wide open and stuff like that. So, you know, that's not too bad. Um. Alright, last pack. Can we get some last pack luck? One Karibo, gold. There's a chance for something. Acid Downpour, Robot Buster Destruction Sword. Okay, so this is another cat that has to do with Buster Blader. So let's see. You can target one Buster Blader you control. Equip this target from your hand or side of the field to that target. Okay, so it's another Buster Blader equip. When this card is equipped to a monster spell card, spell such trap cards that are already face up on your opponent's side of the field cannot activate their effects. You can send this equip card. The monster that was equipped gains a thousand till the end turn. So there's a lot of Buster Blader support. So I wonder if that actually will make him a good card. But he has two tributes for only 2600. I don't know, but he has a lot of support. But he doesn't have good support. Like he doesn't have Champion's Vigilance. He doesn't have Kaiba Man. Red Eye Spirit and stuff like that that other big guys already have. 
and Sis Thunder. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 4 Light Thunder Monster with 1600 attack or less in your graveyard, except Sis Thunder. Banish that target during the end phase that turn, add that target to your hand. So I don't know, the Thunder Monsters, like, they can do that with each other, but I feel like they're meant for exceeds. You know what I mean? Like, because you can get a whole bunch of level 4 monsters out, but exceeds aren't in this game, so. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of lackluster from what I've seen so far. But yeah, that's 33 packs and really nothing good. I got two URs and two SRs, and one of my URs was probably the worst one in the pack. I didn't really read the other ones, but um... Yeah, so... That kind of sucks, but um, yeah, so there's, there's 33 packs of the new Crimson Kingdom. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.